guys, it's Jody. Today's video, I want to create another fire and ice piece. I'm not gonna do a, a floating bloom this time. The, a few videos back, I did a floating bloom with the theme of fire and ice. And I've got the same colors. I've got another uh, new color that I wanna try out with it, but I wanna do something a bit bigger and I wanna do transfer blooms. So that is what we're gonna do today. So let's go get started. All right, we are going to go over the colors, the cell activator, and the pillow, and you're going to notice these colors, uh, the theme here, once I start showing it to you. So the first set of colors I have, I've got uh, this little piggy's mosh, and just got a little bit of this left. This is mixed up with my Dutch Boy Joe Sonia Pouring Medium Mix. And then I have got Persian Autumn Yellow. This is a Parage Posse paint. And there's that one. And then I've got Alan's Red Shimmer. This is another Parage Posse paint. I feel like I added um, another red in here to make it just a little bit darker, but I honestly don't remember. It probably was the uh, golden, the the Napethal red that I usually use. I may have mixed it, but at any rate, I started with a mostly this. So that's what that consistency looks like. So those are our warm colors. <laughs> We're gonna do kind of a fire and ice theme again, but something different, a little bit different. Now the colors I have for the cool side, I've got, what is, what is this? This is Atelier Interactive. Uh, the cobalt turquoise a light hue and I put just a drop of this and you could barely see it but uh, this is mixed up with my Valspar Verathane I, and I don't think I showed you these other two the yellow and the red are also uh, Valspar Verathane the pouring medium mix so there's that one and then I have this one just mixed up by itself, the uh, PBO Studio Acrylics Iridescent uh, Blue Black. Favorite of all time. And there's that one. This is also my Valspar Verathane Pouring Media Mix. And then finally, I've got a color that I haven't used before, but I, it was a suggestion from one of my subscribers. She was talking about this uh, folk art color shift paint and this is called blue flash it's kind of hard to see but it's got like a purple undertone so i mixed this up with my valspar verathane in here and i added just like a drop or two of the golden fluid permanent violet dark just to make it a little bit more i don't know i'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure if it did a lot to it but i wanted to see what would happen but it's got this really cool uh, purple flash to it. So we're gonna give this a go, I've never tried it. And so that is gonna be the cool colors. And my cell activators, I've got three of them. I've got, I've got the rest of my, uh, this is actually Amsterdam Titanium White. I'm using up the rest of this. This is uh, four parts Australian Floetrol, one part paint. And then this is my Atelier Interactive Mars Black. Again, Australian Floetrol, four to one, four parts Floetrol, one part paint. And then finally, my favorite gold cell activator, which is four to one as well with Australian Floetrol. The one part paint is a uh, half a part each of the Atelier Interactive Pale Gold and the PBO Studio Acrylics Precious Gold. I eyeball it, doesn't need to be perfect. I just got a little bit left of that too. So those are the cell activators. Now my pillow, I've got a full container of my PPG Multi Pro and I'm gonna need it. So <laughs> that's the pillow we're gonna use today is the uh, PPG Multi Pro. So now let's move over and I'll tell you what we're gonna do. So let's go paint. All right, for the piece we're gonna do today, I have actually, I've got a 16 by 20 standard canvas here, just taped up the back, just like that. And what I wanna do is, I wanna do transfer blooms. I wanna do kind of a fire and ice. We did a few video, videos back, we did a floating bloom fire and ice, and 
I, I had the suggestion maybe doing a transfer bloom one side, fire and ice, and I was like, yeah, you know what, we're going to do that. That that sounds really cool. I don't know if I want to do it just simple in the middle or if I want to kind of have a few going off in different directions as well, but I do want negative space. So that's the idea for this canvas. We all know how ideas work out. So now we're going to go back over to the bench and I actually have two boards I'm going to be using for the transfer swipe. We're going to, we're going to bloom one uh, of the, with the warm colors and then one with the, the cool colors. We're going to do two blooms on two different boards to transfer over. So let's go back over to the bench. All right, we've got two boards here, but like I said, uh, we're going to do one board is strictly going to be the warm colors for a bloom. And then one of uh, this board here, I had to dig out a new board. This is going to be the cool colors in a bloom. So, and I'm going to try and do them semi together. So I'm going to put down pillow on both of them and then we'll set up the colors for each. And then I'll flip angles to blow it out so you can kind of see a little bit better. All right, that should be plenty for both. All right, we're gonna do the warm side first. This, I'm gonna put down the mosh first. And then we're gonna put the yellow. the cool side I think I want to put down the uh, the iridescent blue black first and then I'm gonna put this blue flash concoction on next and finally the cobalt blue All right, we'll do the warm bloom first. So I'm gonna use gold cell activator on both. So I'm gonna put down the gold first, like so. And then we're gonna use the black for this one here. Like so. All right, let's blow this out. All right, we'll let that fill in. All right, I've moved that over. Now let's do the cool side. It's kind of slipping on me. So we're gonna do, we're gonna put the gold on, but we're gonna use the white cell activator on this one here. So we'll put the gold, like so. And then we'll put the white down. And here we go. All right, we're gonna let 
that hill in. Right, I'm gonna put that that one off to the side. We're gonna we're gonna do just a few a modification on there, but that blew out really nicely. Not a lot because we are gonna transfer it, but some of those swirls transfer over nicely. So let's just. that sit to the side and here's our cool side let's just add a little pizzazz to, to this as well all right that looks pretty good that's coming in nicely too all right I'm gonna meet you back over at the spinner box and we're gonna get these transferred. All right, so we're gonna start with the fire side. And I think I'm going to take from right here. Go right in the middle. That's so super cool. Now we're gonna do this side. And that's how that filled in. So I think I'm just gonna take um, right here. That looks like a pretty dang cool start. I'm excited to play with this. really well I'm gonna give it a spin and we're gonna we're gonna go from there I may do a little bit more or I may just start moving it around so let's give it a spin <laughs> spin. Oh. <laughs> this is opening up nicely. Actually, I don't. Yeah, I'm just going to keep spinning right now. I want to bring this over just a little bit. of this to go off because there's a bit more paint on this side and then I'll bring it back it's a little bit off center but I want to open it up just a little bit more not gonna get negative space like I wanted to but you know what this is turning out really stinking cool I don't care 
and oh my gosh this is so stinking cool all right let me I want this to go off just right up here didn't want to lose that all right all right I want to go I'm gonna take it down get just a little of that off bring it back. Actually, I'm going to bring it down. Then I'll bring it back again. Right there. Yes, 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 yes. This is opening up nicely. The middle centered as it as it's going to go. I don't have too much more paint on there. All right, let me just there we go. I actually really like it that way, but I also like it that way. Actually, it, could, it goes really nicely this way, too. That's my least favorite. I like with the fire on top because it almost looks like it's melting the ice. All right. Yep. That's a winner, winner, chicken dinner. I'm going to get cleaned up, and I will bring you over for the flyover of this guy. All right. Here it is as a whole. Uh, I love this orientation, but I also like it. I'll show you another one that I really like. I, I, I did show it to you on the... Uh, on the spinner there, but I've got my flash on. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see all the subtle little shimmers, but the movement I absolutely love. And that mosh is gonna glow under the black light. So super cool. All these, uh, it's just, it looks like it's on fire. Love it. Oh, I love it so much. I love how both sides came out and then how they kind of met in the middle right here I mean it's I'm glad that little swirl made it I love how it's just meeting in the middle kind of holding their own ground and you got that blue black in there and that uh, that shift I'm excited to see if that shift paint comes through and this little ripple here is pro is my favorite I absolutely love it so super cool there's that let me just show you I love it I love it from that angle I, I almost like this my first favorite will will reserve judgment for when it dries but uh, I will be back once this is dried to show you the dried results but wait there's more <laughs> look at how that glows oh my gosh it's so cool how it glows under the black light like that so super cool oh yeah I love it this way. All right, now I'll be back once this is dried to show you the dried results. And here it is all dry. I mean, it dried just beautifully. This, I think, is my favorite orientation. I love it with the fire on top uh, and the ice on the bottom. But we'll look at other orientations in a little bit. I want to bring you in and kind of show you just a little bit more of the detail up close. And then I'll show you the sparklies. I love this fold and the way that goes right there. I mean, just it just ended up really pretty. And this purple you see in here is really, is that blue flash. I'll show you that as well. But I just love right here, the line between the fire and ice. It's just, just the coolest. And I love that little swirl. I'm so glad it stayed. But it's just this, this fire on top is just, it's, to, it's something else to me. I'm really digging all the cells in here. And it definitely glows under a black light as we saw. And I might show it to you again, just, just because. <laughs> so let me bring you over and show you all the shimmers in this beauty. As you can see the shimmers, you can see that gold cell activator and then that purple in there is actually part of that blue flash that kind of stuck. And you get a little bit of the uh, blue black as well. And some of the gold up in here too, so, so cool. 
really, really neat piece. I'm going to show you some of the orientations and we'll take a, take a look under the black light again. This is definitely my second favorite orientation. I kind of like it with the fire on the right. So with the ice on the top, I'm not so sure about this orientation is flip-flop. This one's kind of nice too, actually. I think my least favorite is with the ice on top, but everything else can work really well. But I, I like it vertical with the the uh, fire on top myself. But I'd love to hear uh, your favorite orientation, so let me know in the comments below. So I uh, let's go check it out under a black light. And oh, wow, look at that. That is so cool. <laughs> I just love how it explodes up there. Yep, definitely glows under a black light. All right, I'm gonna flip you around and give you my final thoughts. I'm really digging the fire and ice theme, especially with this piece. The bloom turned out really cool too. I had somebody mention, if you haven't seen the video yet, uh, I'll link it to this one. And you know, I wasn't quite sure on the orientation, but then someone mentioned that putting the fire on top, actually it looks like it makes in the bloom, it looks like it makes the uh, the ice portion look like it's melting. So that that really stuck out for me, and that's probably why I like the the fire on top in this piece as well. But I've had other suggestions to try, you know, different combinations, you know, one side and the other, not just you know a fire and ice theme. So that's definitely on my list to try. Um, you know, we'll I'll bring this back absolutely. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on this piece. Uh, let me know in the comments below. So with that, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.